What? Hey, get back here! Great, now I have to find Salem and Iris. Can this day get any crazier? Just my luck. I should have packed a potion or two from home. Let me go! From the trail I followed, that was Iris's scent that I sensed from the scent beads. And it's coming from the fountain. But what's she doing over there? I thought she was heading home with Nell. Behind you! <sighs> Speak of the devil. How? Way to tell me to slow down, Salem. Oh, so it's my fault you couldn't slow down and watch where you were going? <laughs> well, you certainly deserve it after bailing out an iris without giving a reason. My business is none of your concern. What are you doing here anyway? Huh? What's this? This is Iris's poncho. What's it doing floating in the fountain? Now, are you listening to me? I'll explain everything later. Right now, we've got a problem. How clever of them to throw me off like that. Them? I saw one of my classmates walk out from the Magic Academy dorms yesterday during lunch hour. I asked him how he is able to get past the guards, but he dodged my question and ran off. Then, after class today, he was meeting up with a knight from the Knight Academy and went over to the Windy Western District. I lost him within the crowd, so I grabbed the scent beads from Baron. It took me a while, but when I finally caught up with him at the alley, I saw a necklace in the knight's hand. Unfortunately, they found out I was spying on him before I could get a better view of it. I have your pendant. If you ever want it back, meet me at the Aqua Eastern District after class. <laughs> That's gotta be Iris's pendant we've been looking for! Why would they steal her pendant? I would have used my spells on them if I'd known sooner. I don't know. Did you see Iris along the way? I did, but they knew I was chasing them with the scent beads, so they used the poncho as a decoy to throw me off. Great. They could be anywhere in the city by now. Let's ask around for more clues. What's up, Hector? You've been staring at that necklace for a while now. I've been curious about it for a while now. Its texture, the jewel, it's a little too nice to be any ordinary necklace. Maybe the owner takes good care of it. I mean, come on, it's just a necklace. I don't get what's so special about it. <clears throat> hey, Marcus. I think you might be interested in reading this paragraph here. Oh, <laughs> this just keeps getting better by the second.
We haven't found any clues to help find Iris. Uh, I'm starting to run out of ideas myself. I don't understand. We've searched all over the western and eastern districts, and there wasn't much in the northern district either. What about the southern district? I highly doubt they'd be there. The place is pretty much a nightclub, and you can't go in without supervision, or unless you're a graduate from the academy. Yeah. Wait, how do you know so much about it? That's not important right now. Anyway, why don't we search around the skies tomorrow? It's the only option that I can think of. Oh, so you have the magic stability to keep us afloat in the skies then? Or, or maybe you have enough coins to afford dragons! Uh... Although, there is one way that could make your plan work. What's that? We should sneak into the Magic Academy tonight and grab two pairs of the winged boots. What? Nell? Do you have any idea how much trouble we'll be in? You got any other bright ideas then? Nell, come on. Let's be realistic here. Please, Salem. You're the only one I can count on to help rescue Iris. <sighs> All right, fine. Just tell me what I need to do. I'm only doing this because Iris' safety is important to me, too. <sighs> Thanks, Salem. You're the best. This isn't going to be easy. It's too late to turn back now. Remember, go into your teacher's classroom and make sure nobody sees you. All right, here goes nothing. What was that? Uh-oh. Um, let's see. Uh, no. That won't do. That won't do either. Ah, perfect! Show yourself! Damn time! Damn kids and their pranks. Well, they're gone now. It's not like they were trying to steal anything. They'd be pretty damn clever if they used some sort of veil spell or something. was intense. Easy for you to say. <laughs> hey, I saved your tail back there. <laughs> You're crazy, Nell. <laughs> Call me what you want. The point is, we got what we came for. Yeah. Tomorrow, we search the skies in the northern district. I'm sure we'll find Iris over there. 
I will save her, no matter what. Come on, let's just get some sleep while it's still dark. Hey, now? Hmm? Are you an iris... well, you know, an item? Huh? We're just friends, and that's all we'll ever will be! What kind of question is that? Uh-huh. Sure. I believe you. Oof. Shut up and go to sleep before I kill you! <laughs> I have nine lives, you know. And I have nine reasons to kill you right now. Don't push it. Good night, now. <laughs> The guest room, of course. So you're the one behind all of this. Kind. Welcome to my ship. Is there anything I can get you, Iris? You're acting pretty hospitable. Well, how about you get my tampas? I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I bashed your head with them. Now tell me, where are you taking me? Why, it wouldn't be fun to spoil the surprise, now would it? Your friends won't be able to rescue you that easily. It'll take a lot of effort for Nell and Salem to come up here. You're wrong! They'll find a way. I know they will. Salem's clever, and Nell never gives up no matter what. And when they get here, here could it be in big trouble, kind. I'd like to see them try. Right now... Let's talk about this pendant of yours. I believe this was given to you by His Majesty when you were a little girl. How did you... Hey, I think I'm getting the hang of this. W whoa! Ugh. Just follow me and you'll be fine. <sighs> Thanks. Alright, let's try this again. Right. Three. Two. Good day, ah. boys! What are you up to on this beautiful day? Ah, Baron! We were just playing hide-and-seek, and, and uh, I just found Salem! Uh, found you! <laughs> What's going on here? Care to explain to me why you have those boots? Um, well, I, um... <laughs> <sighs> just tell them everything now. <sighs> All right. Iris got abducted by the same people that Salem was chasing after yesterday. We've searched everywhere throughout the entire city, and the Nature Northern District is the only place we haven't searched yet. If that didn't work out, we were hoping that she's somewhere within the skies, hence the winged boots. I know it's completely against our teachings, but I just can't sit here and wait. I feel it's my responsibility as a knight and a friend to rescue Iris and bring her back safely, even if it means I have to bend the rules. No. Well, I'll be! Looks like our little Nell has a crush! I remember I had a crush on a girl when I was your age. <laughs> oh, come on! Not you, too! <laughs> I won't say a word to anyone, but I want you boys to promise me you won't go against the Academy's rules again. Is that clear? We promise. By the way, what brings you here to the Nature North District? Oh, me? I just returned from repairing an engine failure from a flying ship that's been afloat for a while. The people inside looked like they were in a hurry, though. Kids these days, I tell ya. 
They're always late for something. A flying ship? Where is it? Uh, it's not too far from here, actually. A little to the east in the skies. All right. Thank you for your assistance and understanding, Baron. You see anything? Not yet! Huh? See a ship! That's the ship Baron was talking about. Thank you for boarding Air Magi. We are now landing on an unidentified ship. We hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you're prepared. There could be some fighting. I just hope Iris is here. Only one way to find out. Let's head inside. Be on your guard. Well, well, well. If it isn't Salem and Nell. Pretty impressive to have come this far. <laughs> so you two found this ship, huh? <laughs> Well then, let's see if you can put up a worthy fight. Far. I won't let any of you get in my way! <laughs> <laughs> 